I'm Dr. Jeffrey Britton. I'm an adult epileptologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I'm going to talk about uh, when to stop uh, anti-epileptic uh, medication. Um, seizures and epilepsy are very common. Seizures affect uh, roughly 5% of the population at some time in, uh, in their lives. 0.5 uh, to 1% of the population will have epilepsy uh, requiring treatment. 60% um, of the time, uh, medications currently available for treatment of epilepsy work well in stopping seizures. This inevitably leads to the uh, a decision point two or three years after having uh, one's last seizure, do I still need to take my medication? Uh, similar condition arises in people with high blood pressure. Their blood pressure gets under control with the medication. In the interim, they exercise, lose weight, pick up good habits regarding health, and they may ask themselves after a few years, do I still need my blood pressure medication? The same situation arises in the treatment of epilepsy when it's been successfully treated with medication treatment. There are several guidelines that have been published on stopping anti-epileptic medication after a seizure-free interval. Most guidelines uh, support uh, considering that question after two years of being seizure-free. Some studies have looked at shorter periods of seizure freedom, one year, six months, etc. In general, a two-year time frame, however, helps identify those who might uh, be able to safely go off treatment. Two years without seizures, however, is far from a guarantee that things will go well off treatment. Um, and it can be very difficult to identify patients who will um, do well and not have seizures compared to, and conversely to identify those who uh, are, um, are at greatest risk in having uh, seizure relapse upon stopping treatment. There are a number of factors that I consider when counseling patients who present to me with this problem. One, what do they do for a living? If they drive 300 miles a week as part of their job, uh, even a 1% risk or 5% risk of a seizure may be too high to consider in that situation. Uh, whereas if uh, they have an office job, there are a lot of people around, uh, plenty of people at home to be with them, um, perhaps that person's life situation is such that uh, taking some risk of seizure recurrence might not have as grave implications. So a person's life situation is very important to me in the, in the course of counseling uh, people as to the wisdom of whether they consider stopping treatment or not. There are a number of reasons why people want to stop medication. If, in general, people don't like to take medication unless it's absolutely necessary. And if they've not had a seizure for a long time, uh, they may not be so sure in their own heart of hearts whether they need to be on the treatment, and they don't want to take a chemical produced by some company somewhere uh, for years, um, just from a general instinctual concern about the risk of taking medications long term. Plus there are the costs and side effects of medications uh, that also are motivators uh, for people to uh, want to see to naturally inquire whether they still need to be on treatment or not. Um, if, you, if one looks at studies focused on the adult population in terms of uh, relapse rate after stopping anti-epileptic medication, the best, the best data uh, suggests there's a 40% risk. So if you take uh, a large population of people who've had seizures on treatment who have been seizure-free for a minimum of two years, and you gradually withdraw the medication, 40% uh, will have a relapse at some time over the next two years. If a recurrence happens, it usually does so within the first year. It often occurs uh, as the medication is almost discontinued. Um, however, even after the first year, there still is a, 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 a lower rate of continued risk of having breakthrough seizures, but uh, the slope of that line is much 
less steep uh, compared to the first year. What do I look at in a per person's uh, medical condition in addition to their life uh, situation before considering uh, whether it's safe to stop their medication treatment? Several studies have analyzed risk factors to try to pick out those at greatest risk. The risk factors found to be strongest include first seizure that occurred after age 10 or 12 years of age, uh, the occurrence of a seizure type called myoclonic and generalized tonic-clonic seizures, an epilepsy syndrome called juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, abnormalities on the neurologic examination, uh, borderline uh, intelligence level or IQ level, um, epilepsy that is due to a brain injury or brain lesion. Those factors all weigh, it, the, 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 all correlate with the increased risk of uh, relapse if drugs are discontinued. Um, the EEG can play a role in help helping to determine those uh, at greater risk and lower risk, uh, but there's several caveats that need to be discussed. Um, patients in whom this question arise are often on medications which can affect uh, what's detected on the EEG. So if you perform an EEG before deciding to stop a medication, one has to realize the medication being taken might be affecting in suppressing the activity on the EEG. So because of that, the EEG is not a perfect test for this uh, situation. Um, if you look at the presence of EEG abnormalities and the risk uh, for relapse, it does increase from 40%, like I mentioned, to about 60%. So if EEG abnormalities are present, that certainly increases the risk of relapse. However, if it's negative, there's still about a 30 to 40% risk of relapse. So a negative EEG does not uh, put you out of the woods. Some have advocated after drugs were withdrawn, doing the EEG at that point. Uh, the drug is off, so any effect it had on the EEG should be gone. And in fact, it looks like that probably does improve the yield of EEG, but still at the end of the day, it remains an imperfect test for this clinical situation. So if you went off medication and your EEG remained negative, uh, that would, of course, be a good thing. However, there would still be the, you would still have some potential for relapse. It wouldn't mean that uh, you're completely free and clear.